Chamberlain taking on Mika Naisbit. Once again, I'm Connor Halliday alongside Mr. Danny Missing. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this. I like uh, I like those fighters that look right long and rangy and they've got the typical uh, MMA builds. Yeah. Well, let's see if you can Connor looking like the taller okay. guy tonight, straight in on the takedown is Mika. Beautiful takedown by Mika, but you could see he tried to establish his range with a teep straight off the bat. Now let's see what really Chamberlain's got on the ground. Absolutely no messing about with that no. takedown. Mika looks like a man possessed right now. <laughs> yeah. Keeping strong, top control here. We've got uh, Connor Chamberlain on the bottom. Yeah. A lot taller than uh, the Mika. And he's just playing um, predominantly defensive uh, game right now. Nice frame it's off. Chamberlain, but gets the burst. Can he get his got half guard back? Lovely uh, reversal into uh, half guard there. Looked for guard. Now in jiu-jitsu, you know, half guard's a good position, you know, from side control. MMA, not so much. It allows the uh, the top player to sit on your hip a little bit and just uh, act as an anchor. Some shoulder strikes coming in from Nika Naisbit, Mika Naisbit as well. Really nice how he's just disguising them behind his own head. Yeah. And as he pulls his head back, there's a, a little punch, a little rabbit punch that follows. And, you know, they, they, they can get annoying, but they can also get the reaction that he's looking for there, which is the arm across the face. Yeah. That can always lead to a head and arm choke. Yeah, he's, he's kind of setting traps with his strikes rather than yeah. trying to finish the fight with it. He's trying to set uh, set Connor into doing something that he doesn't actually want to do. Some big strikes to the body, knees to the body. And that's and that's what happens, you know, like little shots, they make you move, they make you defend. You've got to respect him. Um, as you can see, Chamberlain's... Uh, oh, oh, rolls for the armbar, but wow. this is why I teach my fighters not to give up the top position. Armbar's right. nice when it put, comes off, but you have just sacrificed all that top position work. That is. That and now is, you've got a long-range opponent in front of you that does not want to go back <laughs> to the ground. Yeah. Connor looks very composed to say he's just been dominated for that first half of this round. Um, you know, Mika's looking a bit tired. Nice sidekick, but nice oh. and a beautiful, beautiful catch and double leg. Turned the corner very quickly there as soon as he got to the hips. And back into side control. See, now let's see. Uh, see if Mika continues to uh, score these shots on the top. Shoulder strikes, nice body strikes. In there as well. Some, uh, some strikes that you want to see, but you don't always see. That knee's a good one. Our and fellow commentator Steve Cook Abbott will be going mental watching them <laughs> knees to the body. He loves the knee to the body. Slides Straight over, over into mount. mount because he got his man defending. Big strikes to end the Beautiful. round from Mika. And nice. see, the strikes have set up the position again. He didn't like what he felt, so he rolled up and ends there the round we have on it the for back. the first round. Again, Connor Chamberlain in the red corner with the yellow RDX gloves. Mika Nesbitt in the white gloves in the blue corner. And off we go. Let's see if the uh, wrestling pays dividends this round. Um, nice little leap in left nice hook. hook. Shades of Roy Jones Jr. there. Love nice the side, side kick. kick. Mika's striking on the feet is completely different to his striking on the ground. His striking on the ground was to set things up. Yeah. Everything on the feet is to try and knock your head off. And he shoots him for another takedown. Um, when he watches this back, He's going to realise that uh, there is a meme in the making there. He kind of looked like Harry Potter yeah. uh, casting a spell before <laughs> he shot in. <laughs> but it worked. It does, it does indeed. And he's back into side control again. Knees to the body. It's just a mirror of round number one. Yeah. Um, and I don't know um, what's going to work here. He's trying something different, but he's kind of isolating his own arms on the bottom of his chamberlain right now. Yeah, um, you know, maybe just creating a frame and bumping would be better instead of trying up, trying to tie up an arm. Yeah, he needs to be a bit more uh, active off his back now. I know it's hard when you're in this position, but you've got to keep moving on the bottom. Yeah, and uh, you know, when you tie up someone's arm in, in in a bad position like this, you're not tying up their arm. You're you, you're limiting your own movement. You're tying yourself to the floor. You know, if someone's holding my arm and I've got him in side control, hold my arm all you want. You know, it's. Ah, nice knees, nice, uh, nice knees again. Straight back over to Mount. 
Mika's not rushing either. He's sitting inside control for a little bit, landing some strikes, then yeah. going to mount. Whereas a lot of people tend to, as soon as they get to side control, the boom, straight trying to get mount yeah. and then they lose position. And those knees are serving a purpose, you know, when yeah. you've got the range guy like that, they can always use your legs to stop the transition to mount. And what's happening is Mika's throwing those knees and he's getting the guy's hips to move. When the guy's get hips move and his legs are down, he's stepping over into mount and he's done it twice now. So definitely something that uh, and he's, he's having success with and that he works on clearly. He's very rough and tough on the ground is Mika rubbing the, uh, rubbing the forehead into the chin of Connor Chamberlain, some, some nasty stuff on the bottom, That's but it works. It. it does. It works. It does. And um, it's just making you, you know, you're in an uncomfortable, ooh, nice right hand there by Mika. And I like to see this level of maturity from a young fighter where he's picking his shots. You know, you see back in there too many set up and just, you know, throw a flurry of punches. No hell for leather, big strike. Right there, you felt that through the bottom of the cage, folks. That was, uh, he bounced his head off the floor <laughs> and uh, you don't want to take too many of that. And a hammer fist again from Mika Nesbitt. Looking to step over, rolling for, for the triangle. triangle. And Straight changes to, to the, the armbar. armbar. That, is, that is not Ooh. good. Wow, is he going to step over? He needs to step his other foot over. And how play to Connor Chamberlain. That. Wow. I feel like almighty oh, Barnsley Metrodome, nobody gets armbarred because everyone just gets out of them. The last show, before yeah. the lockdowns, there was about three of them that happened. That's it, stop drawing wow. armbars, folks, if you're fighting here. And you know, neither of these lads are out of shape, so, no. you know... It wears you down, does this wrestling? It wears you down, you know, it, it, it makes you feel like you're treading through treacle. But when you're conditioned like that, it's nothing you aren't seeing in the gym. No, definitely not. And uh, straight back in on the takedown is Mika, and he gets it once again straight into side control. And the story here is Chamberlain just has not been able to make the adjustments. You're at a dis you're at a disadvantage going against a smaller man with a lower center of gravity in a wrestling exchange, anyway. Um, especially one that knows what he's doing. Yeah. And uh, he's not being able to drop his level. He's a very upright striker. The takedown's been there all day. And from what I'm aware of with Mika, he's a high level jiu jitsu uh, competitor for, for, for such a young age as well. Yes. Obviously, the dungeon lads don't mess about when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the grappling or any part of MMA for that matter. But I, uh, Connor's just not had the answer no. tonight for, uh, for Mika. No, and uh, the controlled aggression is on show yeah. uh, from Mika. Like, even with the striking, he didn't look out of place on his feet. A little bit awkward because, you know, the range. But he got some shots off and enough to set up his takedowns, which, you know, when you look at the dungeon lads of the past that have fought on Almighty, they know how to use the striking to get to where they want to go. And I've had some big highlight reel knockouts, given the pedigree of the jiu-jitsu as well. We've got Mika looking for some big ground and pound this time. Referee Rich Belcher keeping a very close eye on this one. Nothing too damaging, but, you know, if he kept them shots going and landing, it could be a different story. Yeah. But he's been, he, he, he's been sensible, you know, like, you don't want to come out winging on the feet. You don't want to do that on the ground. Nice reversal. Nice reversal. This is, this is the kind of uh, urgency that we want to see from Chamberlain. Yeah. He's, got one, he's got one round to make it happen, and he needs a finish, in my opinion. 100%, I agree, Danny. It's, uh, it's going to be quite difficult when he's stuck in guard. He's stuck in Mika's guard, and we've seen what he can do with his attacks from guard. Even though he's not necessarily set him up from guard, but we know he's got a triangle. We know he's got an armbar. Very slick ones, too. Yes. And he's got great hip movement. Not what he's doing on the bottom setup. is, as well, he's keeping that arm tied, yes. which, can it, obviously, it's a disadvantage for Connor. Now he's attacking the leg. He want, you, you, he's wanting Chamberlain's... Um, Left side to posture up. Yeah. Take risk control and sit through for the triangle. Yeah. I mean, that's best guess. That's best guess, but if I've got the grappling skills of Mika right now, that's what I'm looking for. As you saw, pain moves at joint locks. You can escape with a grimace on your face, but you can't escape going to sleep. No, so <laughs> that, is, that is very true. Yeah. Very true. We're looking at about maybe 30 seconds left in this round. And uh, it's been a Ten better round. seconds, you were wrong. It's been a better round for Connor. It just, has. Just not quite enough. No, no, I'd like to see him let go, but time's almost up and uh, 
Do you know, the majority of that round was, hey, we got a little kip up from him yeah. there. <laughs>